We're going to take the public transport here in San Diego for the very first time. It's a wonderful day. Today's Saturday, September 4th. Okay, and it's kind of exciting for me today because we're going to catch the... Catch the bus downtown. Yeah, so oh, we're... Catch the bus downtown and come around on the trolley. We got our free Pronto card like two to three days ago. Pronto is a new <laughs> transportation system. It's taking over uh, from the uh, Compass. Compass is being out phased and we're transitioning over to the Pronto, which is a uh, the new program for the trolley and MTSs out here in San Diego. And MTS means? Uh, I believe it's Metro Transit System. All right. So for the whole September, our bus and trolley rides for the public it's is free. free. Okay guys, we are here in one of the bus stops here in Lake Moray and they have two buses number here. So one is 115 and the other one is 854 and Ray is now checking which bus number do we need to take. And um, for the first stop, we're going from here to the Grossmont Center and then catch the trolley from there so i'll take you with me in our journey and i hope that you watch this video until the end we're going to the seaport village as well if we have enough time we're going to ride the, uh, the ferry also going to the coronado ferry landing and we'll explore the place from there so everything that we're gonna do today is taking the public transport and walking on feet. Um, the weather is really, really nice today. It's not so warm and I love the little breeze. So yeah, all we need to do right now is find out what time the bus is gonna come. Okay, the bus is here, I think. Is that the bus? Looking at that sign, the, uh, the bus 854 doesn't go on the weekends, the girls want? No. Uh, no. Okay, so we have to get this to the trolley and come around, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then not on the weekends? No. Yeah, because that's kind of long. So the bus in Boston doesn't work on the weekends. So from here, this is what bus yeah, number? From here, all the way over here, they come all the way back. Okay, so where do we get off? At the last station, at the Voyager College. Okay, guys. So we're gonna have like um, a free tour. A free tour here. A free tour here. So what bus did we take? 115. So going to San Diego State. We took the bus 115 going to San Diego State. But on the weekdays, it runs only every hour. Okay, every hour. Every once an hour. Okay, so I just need to know what time is not normally the bus. Is it said every hour, 7:45 a.m., 8:45 a.m., 9:45 all the way to like 7:45 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of fun.
Okay guys, we just get off here in San Diego State University and it's so nice here. That's the university right there. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure but I just know it's got the student union. And this is one of the bridges going to the parking garages. And I don't know if there will be like some type of dorm or if they're um, uh, another hall. So we're walking down the trolley station now this is the campus map right here so we need to top this and we are here in the trolley to old downtown oh my gosh so we're going to downtown now we're no longer going to crossman because the buses are not going to crossman during the weekends waiting for the train to go from this direction. We are now on the green line touching the trolley going to the downtown. Yeah, that's the Amtrak going to LA. You get on the uh, other side of the street. Okay, so we took the green line from Seaport Village. This is where we started, right? So we started yeah. from here and then go all the way. We could have got off the. Oh, street. okay. No, we can just like. Walk. Can we walk from here? Okay, uh, yeah. So this is the Prono card station where you can actually load your card if you want to pay cash. So we are now in Santa Fe station and this is one of the big hubs. And there's the green line, I think across the streets the orange line. 
buses are over here, and then you can catch the Amtrak, the Surfliner going to uh, LA. Okay, so we're one station short to get to the Seaport Village. Well, then we have to hit it again. Yeah. The, uh, Ready to low? Okay, so I tried to scan again my front card and it says that low balance because I only got five dollars in here. But it's just surprising because they said that it's free. So now I, have, we ha I think we have to ask the bus driver later when we get on the bus because why it's charging us when it's supposed to be free. <laughs> guys we are now walking towards the seaport village um it's a short walk but you just have to like cross the street two times and then walk um opposite the hyatt hotel just walk straight ahead and you will see the seaport village sign i think that's the entrance already um it's kind of convenient but you shouldn't be paying money scan supposed to be free today free for the whole September it said in a website that you know when you load your card it won't get deducted from the balance so we've been trying to contact the customer support of uh, Pronto and it just kept us on hold for a long time not even um, an answering machine So again we're here in seaport so please guys um i had a vlog my last vlog is about my first time coming here in seaport so please do watch that and we just came here for the first time just to try the the um the public transport the trolley um for me to know how to get here using the trolley so we're just gonna like walk and then um, explore how can we go to Coronado Island by catching the, the ferry.
nice little park right here. Mm. So I'm not go gonna show you everything here because I already had a vlog of this place um, the last time. So just please watch that. Okay guys, so we found out that the ferry or the port going to Coronado is so far away from here. It's like around 20 minutes by taxi. So there's no way that we can go there now. So we decided to just walk around here in this side of Seaport Village because the last time I weren't able to come here. So I didn't see the place. So I'm gonna show you all around here. They have the marina here. There's a lot of yachts and um, some more nice restaurants. Yeah. So we're just gonna walk a little bit and then we'll find a place to eat. really understand this map until you know can have a good look okay so right now we are at the back of the Mario hotel and the convention center and going straight ahead is heading to gas lump which is located in downtown area they don't even so, have a, a, a little pin pin where we are So we're just trying to figure out this map to understand, you know, how far away we are in the um, okay. in the port. So I think, guys, we found the port going to the Coronado Island. So we're going to now, yeah, to the entrance, and we'll see how much we need to pay to be able to get to the ferry. So we need to get our tickets from this machine right here and it costs $24 for two people. Yep. So the timings are... Okay, right now it's 1.33 p.m. and it says in this small chart like um, the next ferry from Convention Center with 1.55 p.m. So it's actually closed. So Department, yeah. sorry, <laughs> the time in Coronado to, to depart the ferry, the last will be at 10 40 pm. So I'm sure we're not be taking that long. So we're just gonna go there, walk around, and then eat lunch, and then maybe like around 5 40, we'll come back. It's still closed, so it will open um, at 155. We'll probably open 10 minutes before or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. So it's gonna open once you know the, the the ferry is here. So all we need to do is wait, and that's the convention center right there. So it's pretty convenient, you know, um, to use the public transport. Actually, I didn't expect it. I thought that it's not convenient at all because I don't normally see like a lot of people taking the buses and the trolley station looks so far away from you know where we live but they think you know i can go around san diego using bus and trolley now and all i need to do is just to familiarize myself with a place and uh, memorize when i get off the trolley where should i walk going towards you know those key areas that i would like to visit There you go. 
Thank you. Thank you. you got your mask too? That guy said we're not sheep. You heard him? Yeah. It will be like after 3, 10, 10, 5, 10. We came from the convention center. <laughs> no, we came from convention center. here in a pizza place um, just we're going to have a bite of pepperoni and Hawaiian pizza and a beer and we're just sitting here look at the view by the beach uh, it's so cool I got a Sprite Amber what do you call this beer chronic Amber Ale I think it's from Solana Beach, right? From Solana Beach? California, yeah. So I'm just waiting for um, the cashier to call my name to get my order. Uh, they're still preparing it. Time to eat. Our order just arrived. And this is my Hawaiian pizza. Hmm. How 
okay guys and we just finished our lunch in the pizzeria pizzeria yeah, pizzeria in the pizzeria i can't pronounce it village it took us 30 minutes to wait for the food and we just spent you know some time there to relax and enjoy our food drink our beer and then now we're here there's some pictorial going on at the back yeah i think it's a uh, the girl's yeah, 16th yeah, birthday maybe female, it's, uh, the girl's uh, quinceanera probably her 15th birthday <laughs> trying to do right here. Picture. Oh, he's trying to get like a... Oh, I guess he was doing the Titanic or something. But see, she's getting her... She's having her uh, keeps him get at her photo shoot right there. You see in the background. Because yeah, it's a nice place to do some shoot. A nice place. Some yeah, so last time um, in my Coronado Island vlog, I told you guys that the building in uh, the building in back of us is the hotel. It's a hotel, hotel but it's yeah. actually um, apartments, <gasps> condos, one bedroom and two bedroom condos. Yeah. Okay. So correction, it's not the hotel Dell. I haven't been in the hotel Dell. Hotel Dell is all the way on the opposite side where we are. Yeah. Probably the twenty minute walk. Okay, guys. This is the hotel Dell. This is actual hotel Dell. Hotel Dell Coronado. This is the entrance. sign now we are actually here so the apartments in the ferry landing is not the hotel bell just to be clear because I mentioned that in my previous vlog and this is the hotel bell right here Let's just conclude this vlog and tell you everything about our experience of riding the public transport. I therefore conclude that it is very convenient. I very much enjoyed it. I thought at first that taking the public transport here in San Diego is kind of like uh, very complicated. It's but not that complicated. It's fairly easy. Yeah, it's, it's easy. What's complicated is the Pronto card. We spent seven dollars from Lake Murray going to the convention center to the Seaport Village and then coming here in Coronado Island we have to take the ferry for one person going back and forth. Round trip ticket. Yeah, it's a round trip ticket. And it's fun. You know, it only took us ten minutes from the convention center coming here, here in ferry landing and you know it's a nice view too so i would do it again you know i can do it again um taking the the bus i love it you know i get to see the other side of san diego which i haven't seen before and we were able to see the san diego state university so i would like to explore that area as well next time now i know how to get there it's the last station or last stop when you take the 115 bus so for the bus ride um, it took a while but it's not bad at all depending on where you're going and the bus is not not crowded so i feel safe riding the bus and the trolley is very fast that's what i noticed it's pretty much convenient that's what um, i would say and uh, the walking distance from um, the station um, going to the seaport village itself it's not far at all it's like 10 minutes walk you can enjoy the nice view in seaport and if you like to come here in coronado then just ride the ferry that's it so 
so that's what I would like to share in my vlog um, and I have a very exciting experience taking the public transport and definitely next time I'm gonna do it again if Ray is not around I can do by myself and that's it I okay, hope you enjoy riding the bus and the trolley with me and I'll see you in my next vlog again please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel now we're going to just explore the place walk and really enjoy the surrounding so have fun too guys bye see you next time